Hello, my name is Sean. Um, I'm just here to briefly tell you about my journey uh, with going through uh, cataract surgery here with uh, Dr. Tai. Uh, you know, at first with any other procedures I've ever had, there's always apprehension or, or, or fear. However, um, out of all the procedures I've had, and I'm a recovering leukemia patient, so um, I've had quite a few things uh, performed in the past couple of years. This is probably the least invasive and probably the less the less stressful of all the surgeries I've ever had when looking back on it. Um, my vision prior, um, and because of the leukemia treatments and because of the uh, I had a bone marrow transplant, I was almost to the point where I couldn't see anymore, uh, near near blindness really, uh, for lack of a better term. Uh, I was uh, referred to Dr. Tai, and she explained to me. Uh, uh, in a real calm and a uh, real um, uh, easy to understand way all the procedure and how and how it was going to go and the procedure itself went very well it was very very simple very painless um, the whole time uh, you have someone there with you and you're you're being instructed each little step so there's really nothing to worry about I had to have both eyes done when I had my first eye done I probably had a little bit more of a fear factor, a little bit more of a, a little bit of anxiety going into it. However, after successfully going through that procedure, um, when I came time for my the next eye, the left, my right eye to be done, uh, the anticipation and anxiety really wasn't there. I was I knew what to expect. It's quick. It's fast as far as uh, operations or medical procedures go. And it's probably one of the best things I've ever done. To have your vision back is probably one of the best gifts you could ever ask for. Uh, I, I, I can't say enough for it, um, especially right before Christmas. I couldn't have ever asked for a better Christmas gift than this. Yeah. Yeah. Thank you so much for sharing, Sean. Of course. Um, can you tell us a little bit about the type of cataract surgery that you had and um, the type of implant that you had? Yeah, so I had um, the type of surgery was with the the laser procedure to for in layman's terms um where the the lens and the the measurements were actually done with the laser as opposed to with um like a scalpel or but bare hand it was fast uh, and again it was very painless uh, and if anybody out there uh is recommended to have cataract surgery or anything similar to this don't hesitate get it done the sooner the better. There's there's so much, uh, so much you want to see in your lifespan, right? You don't let it go uh, any further, so that way you have, you know, more time to enjoy the things, the beauty of the ocean, or the view of the desert, or the sky, or just the things you took for granted before. When you're not, uh, you don't have your eyesight. Um, you, you really, I think you really understand that. You really, it really becomes uh, something very powerful to you, especially once you regain it. Now everything's brighter. Everything's much more clear and uh, I'm, I'm happy and thankful to see you again. Oh, I appreciate your feedback, Sean. How's your, how's your reading vision? Let's say if you need to read like a small print, a uh, book, something. Yeah, so for my reading, I don't need uh, glasses anymore. I can read without glasses. I'm able to read text messages on my cell phone, for instance. I can pick up a book in normal print and, and read it just fine. So uh, both my vision that's up close for reading and my vision that's, you know, the distance are, are great. So, yeah. so you choose the, the type of implants that gives you the clear range of vision, the multifocal implants. And, um, uh, yeah. So it sounds like you have a really pretty good vision for both distance and near. Absolutely. Yeah. yeah. Absolutely. So John, if, um, yeah, thank you so much for for the feedback. Um, as you mentioned before, that if anyone asks you to have cataract surgery, um, if you just have to tell them one thing, what would you what would you tell them? If I could tell you one thing, uh, <laughs> don't wait. <laughs> Need to get it done. Just do, just do it because, um, especially in my life, what I've learned is time is precious. Especially you know, someone like me that's come out of uh, leukemia, and, and uh, the the more time you postpone, um, you know, those are those are uh, days you don't get back to look and witness and see beautiful things out there in the world. So don't wait. Okay. Thank you very much. Sean. Thank you very yeah. much.